Hi, this is Matt with Champion Traps. I'm going to show you how to make an adjustment to a limit switch on an Easy Bird single stack machine. Um, I'm going to turn this machine on and watch what happens to this arm and everything when it comes into set. All right, so the arm came in just a tiny bit, and you can see I still got quite a bit of this slide plate exposed. Um, when that happens, what we'll need to do is we're going to do a safe release and disconnect one of the leads off the battery. And then we're going to go to the front side of the machine, and we're going to have to remove four bolts. One over here, one down here, same thing on this side. Pull those four out, and that front panel will come straight off. A 13 mil or a half inch wrench will take care of that for you. And then we're going to see this little black box. I need to make a small adjustment to this switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up the bottom right hand screw. You can usually get by moving this switch by doing that, keep some pressure on that switch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this switch back. So this screw is what's slotted, this one's just a pivot. Um, I'm going to move it back a little bit and then I'm going to snug this screw up. You might have to loosen the left hand one uh, to move it. If you do, the switch will move really easy so you have a chance of over adjusting backwards. Um, and if you do that or you over adjust in, whatever issue you have, whether it's the clay doesn't fall or your machine's rapid firing and you over adjust, you're going to get the reverse issue when you go to test it. So now that we put the snug that limit switch back up, we're going to come to this back side again. And we are going to hook back up our power lead. And I'm going to turn this switch on and see what happens. Okay, so when this came in and stopped, now our plate is no longer sticking out back here. And we actually have a little bit showing on this front side. Perfectly fine. As long as we don't have any on the back, we're good. Um, and every time when this arm or when this plate disappears all the way, the arm is going to be in far enough to catch a clay and function right. So then you can push on your foot pedal and test it out a couple times to make sure it resets the right spot. Okay, now you can see that arm came in each time. So now all we'll need to do is a safe release. Okay, now we got this plate sticking back out again. Put your magazine on, stack your clays up, turn your machine on, and you should be able to go out and have some fun. As always, if you do have any further questions, Feel free to let us know here at Champion.